A distraught mother pleads for justice. She says her daughter's been raped and shame has been brought upon the family. I want the government to help us, she says. If they don't, I'll tell them to come and kill my daughter because I will not take her back. Killing a rape victim isn't rare in Afghanistan. What's rare is a rape victim speaking out. Her name is Lal Bibi. The 18-year-old's parents describe how armed men tied them up, then handcuffed and abducted Lal Bibi. Over the course of the next five days, they say, she was beaten by her abductors and repeatedly raped by one of them. Five men have been accused in the attack. Authorities say two have been detained and are being held for further investigation. The two men insist they're innocent and say the incident was nothing more than a tribal settlement by marriage to resolve a family dispute. All of the accused are Afghan local police, or ALP, in northern Kunduz province. Trained by American special forces, the ALP was formed to protect civilians in Afghanistan's badlands, areas where inadequate security forces struggle to fight the insurgents. And while the ALP technically falls under the Interior Ministry's control, human rights activists charge the mostly illiterate recruits receive minimal training and that they're a de facto militia that creates as many problems as it solves. Critics of the ALP say the growing power of these armed militias is unchecked, that many of its 13,000 members are criminals and former Taliban and have been accused of serious human rights abuses and violent crimes. There is no mechanism for, uh, you know, um, uh, monitoring their operation, the way they, they do operate. And in many cases, they don't um, uh, respect the rule of law. Uh, they end up uh, violating women's rights. Supporters of the ALP acknowledge there have been problems, but counter criticism of the group by insisting it's been effective in combating the raging insurgency. You know, this is Afghanistan. In most villages, we did not have schools so that they could be uh, literate. But at the same time, what they need to be trained is only to fight insurgency. That's their ultimate job. They are not enforcing law in, in their areas. Officials point to the detention of two of the five men as proof they're serious about Lal Bibi's case. But women's rights groups contend that even if the men are sentenced, they'll most probably get off lightly. Afghanistan's harsh tribal justice often trumps the country's legal system. Victimized women like Lal Bibi know they're blamed for the abuse and sexual violence they've suffered and expect little to no mercy. So Lal Bibi has gone into hiding, uncertain of her fate. Mohammed Jamjoum, CNN, Kabul.